Well, good morning, everybody. It is uh, uh, not that early, actually, now. About, about 8 o'clock in the morning, we got a, an alert on our phone that says that storms are incoming. Um, I guess there's two tropical storms that are in the Mindanao area moving this way or something. So, uh, yeah, I looked on the weather and we got about 10 days of rain. So it's going to be cool out, but it's going to be a lot of rain and maybe a lot of mud, especially with our new home. Oof. I don't know how that's going to be. I guess we're going to find out real quick, but just getting access to it because I know the road dips and then goes to it. So I have a feeling that is going to be flooded. So that'll be interesting. Uh, we're just getting used to everything here and how it is because uh, it seems like most places get muddy and uh, flood out pretty good. Uh, Marcus is doing well up here um, because uh, he's up, up high. So no issues here. Uh, we are waiting for the internet people to give us a call to say, okay, we're here. Come show us where your house is so that we can uh, measure how many meters from the road and then pay for that. It comes with 50 free meters and then you pay 20 pesos per meter after that. So it should be relatively uh, inexpensive for that part. Um, so I'm hoping. And, uh, and then they say they can install like the next day. So we'll see. I move in tomorrow. So tomorrow is the big day. Um, we had some problems buying on uh, Lazada because a lot of things are not available on the island. We trekked to the mall and all the shops here and you can't get a lot of the things that we need. And uh, they, so they have like an Amazon version, which is Lazada. And, uh, but they don't accept Canadian cards. Uh, so we have this whole process right now going on and sent a swift payment to Marcus. Marcus is, uh, has a 13A here, so he has local bank accounts. So he, and then we're gonna use his phone and buy the stuff. But uh, now it looks like it's gonna be five days for the swift. And then he's gonna move it to like Globe or something, something like that. And, uh, and then we'll be able to buy some probably Tuesday, Wednesday, we can buy the stuff. So we will be on a minimalist place for a while because uh, there's no real furniture in that place. Um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be getting by. But we're really happy. It's really exciting to be able to get a new place. Uh, this is going to be the weather for a while though. Let me turn this around. It is completely cloudy. And so we're just waiting, waiting for the rain. And you can hear the roosters compete back and forth. One will roost and then another one will go. That eventually, I believe, will just be in the back of your head. You won't even hear it anymore after a while. Uh, that is the Philippines. So uh, check out these fruit here. They're like a type of mango, I'm told. There's so many different fruits growing here. We have bananas at our place, so that's going to be cool. But yeah, so 10 days of rain and thunderstorms and tropical storm type stuff. But uh, that's okay. Keeps it cool, which you're, if you're doing a lot of things like moving and getting stuff ready and everything, maybe it won't be a bad thing. As long as the power stays on, the internet. We've been really lucky with the power. It's only gone off. Like one time for about 15, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Um, we're in Albania, like, in a, we've been here just a week today. Um, it, in Albania, it would be <laughs> maybe three times by now. Uh, so this is, uh, this is actually an improvement and I'm quite shocked. I expected it to go down more often. As you can see, I have a mop, a very, gotta watch my head there, a very big mop. So I am going to get a haircut here in the village from one of the cousins of Nora's. All right, there it is. And you get like a, you can have people watch. You can have a stadium of people watching you get your haircut. What's the name again? Arlo, sir. Arlo. Arlo? Yes. All right. Arlo is my hairdresser. We're gonna get this great haircut done. The audience is starting to build. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. I already got an audience. Very happy with it. If you notice, uh, <laughs> had quite an audience. Um, my skin is very red because even the sunscreen, 
you get too much rain all the time and everything and sweat and it just kind of works that whole sunscreen right off and so you have to constantly be putting it on gonna have to get better at that because yeah I'm just getting quite red although my understanding is we have about 10 days of rain at least and maybe a typhoon maybe not some people say yes some people say no but I do know that it's been raining all day um, check out here though got the fishermen out there we go It's great. I got everybody in the village subscribing to me that watches YouTube. So it's pretty cool. And hello to all of you. And uh, anyway, so yeah, great haircut. Total price, he only wanted 50 pesos, which is $1. Um, but I gave him double that because he's cool. And uh, offers me free drinks and he's just all around a great guy. Plus, good guy to know because he's also a construction worker. Here, you can make money if you're a hustler. You know, you got to hustle. I have a lot of different talents and you can find money, you know, in many different places. It just takes, well, it's the same way with the Western world, to be honest. If you want to hustle, you know, when you're young, starting out, you can be cutting people's grass, shoveling snow and have a full time job. I remember when I was like 18, 17, 17, and uh, I, I worked at a lumber mill as a forklift operator and it was a waiter at a restaurant and I worked a crazy amount of hours. so. You know, there's hustling everywhere. If you want to get ahead, that's the way to do it. And uh, Arlo there has a lot of kids. You got to work hard. Okay, so here we go. That's my haircut. Hope you guys like it. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Arlo.